folks were going to watch the, the the new In the Heights trailer that came out. Didn't know there was a new one. In the Heights, it's pretty much the same thing. No, 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 no. There's like two extra scenes in it. It's it's the same trailer. I I say that you. because I I watch this and I'm like I didn't get any more hyped for it. Like I'm I'm I am hyped to see In the Heights, uh, but seeing this new trailer, I was like, oh, this didn't get me more hyped like other like other second trailers usually do. So well. Luckily for us, uh, a court dude in our chat has told us that she is uh, so pumped for this. So let's check this Once out. Once upon a time, in a far away land, I just love how colorful it is. It's so Washington vibrant. Heights. That's what New York is like. Washington All the time, twenty four seven. Lights up on Washington Heights. Up at the break of day, I wake up and I got this little punk. I gotta chase away. Pop the grape at the crack of dawn. Sing while I wipe down the awning. Hey y'all, uh, good morning. Ice cold feet, agua, cherry, strawberry. And of course, <laughs> of course, Lynn's gotta inject himself into the movie. Can't play the the star role anymore. Yo, here's your chance. Ask her out right now. Hey. I think that's good, though, that he steps back from being the star role. Well, of course, because he's way too old now to play that character. But the character that he is playing, uh, the ice cream sales guy, is the first character to have a speaking role in the movie. So besides <laughs> besides Usnavi, who is the guy singing right now, the next Got person it. that says something is going to be Lynn. <laughs> Got it. All the dreamers. Just to remind you. <laughs> We had to assert our dignity in small ways. Little details that tell the world we are not invisible. This is the moment when you do better than me. God, I love Jimmy Smith. Oh, what, an, uh, what a stunning, stunning cast. You made all of this? This is me. <laughs> this is me. <laughs> that was Corey Hawkins, right? The black guy? Work hard. Uh... These questions rules, played Doctor. That guy played Doctor Dre yeah. in uh, Straight Outta Compton. That is him. You ready? I've been saving up all my pennies in my piggy bank this day. Today's all we got, so we cannot stop. This is our block. In the heights, I hang flag Could you imagine we rehearsed the, the choreography and we just broke out and dance? <laughs> next time. Next time. Um, I was completely wrong. Apparently, the other trailer that I saw was not this one. This one was all new stuff. Um, that was fantastic. Thanks for sharing that, Rico. Yep. Uh, all right, we uh, let's talk for about. See, that got me hyped. That got me hyped <laughs> for it again. Yeah, like so. This uh, this trailer is so great. If anyone has seen Hamilton, you know about Lin Manuel. Uh, you know he makes great stuff. Uh, this was his first. Say his name. Lin Manuel Say his Miranda. Name. Um, his uh, f this was his first Broadway production. Uh, won him all those Tonys. Got him. You know, made him the the name that he is now. Uh, and it's finally coming to theaters. And I say finally because. Finally, it's coming. It was postponed once before already due to the pandemic. And here it Finally, comes. Finally, In the Heights has <laughs> come back <laughs> to New York City. It's good. I saw a lot of stuff that we saw from the first one, but there was definitely new stuff. We didn't see Lynn manuel Miranda in the first trailer, I don't think. No. Which is good you, to see. You get, a, um, you get a glimpse of him. But it's and not the other thing I like now. about it is that, and correct me if I'm wrong, because I'm pretty sure I'm not, um, this is the same song and so far they've only shown one song and like a snippet of maybe one or two so they're not giving a whole lot away which is good for a musical i'm not huge for musicals but the greatest showman was really good that kind of got me back into musicals and like hamilton was awesome even though i only saw the like the the filmed broadway version on disney plus but uh this one yeah i'm excited for this one too it's good almost like a modern day west side story kind of yeah, I have a feeling that this is going to about the gangs. This is going to start a new trend, I think. This is going to be like what, you know, what what Les Mis tried to be, you know, the the cool, fantastic, modern, you know, like the uh, revival of the revival musical. Revival of the film musical. I think this is going to set yeah. that off. This is going to start that, which will be real great in my opinion. Yeah, no, I'm I'm super excited.
Well, like I mean, you say, the uh, colors, the colors are vibrant, and I like that about it. Yeah, uh, I think I think in 2022 we're going to be getting uh, Steven Spielberg's West Side Story. Um, oh yeah, that's right. With that's right. An- Ansel An- Elgort. Ansel um, Elgort, beautiful man. Yeah. beautiful man. Very, very excited for that. Um, yeah, I, I if if more musical movies were being made i'd be very happy in fact i told tiffany after we watched hamilton uh the second time i was just like if they could just film broadway shows like this and present them on a a streaming service i'd pay for that streaming service but are you ready for me to blow your mind there is a streaming service but it's not that great Uh, Uh, it doesn't have a lot of even is that what are you ready for me to blow your mind just just say yes all right of course I am. Look up at the YouTube channel. The shows must go on. This started when uh, when lockdown happened. They were like, hey, you know what? We're going to give people something to watch when they go when, when they're at home. So uh, they have clips of live recordings similar to like the Disney Hamilton. And every once in a while, they will release the full musical for free on YouTube for the weekend. Subscribe to this. Get notifications on and it's free. Why oh, not? That's still, that's still yeah. pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. I've seen uh, Les Mis. I saw Cats. I saw The Sound of Music with uh, Carrie Underwood. Um, it's funny looking at that um, that still that you just had up there with just stairs. Yeah. Um, the the first musical that I was in in high school was Footloose, um, and it was originally going to be Little Shop of Horrors, but our like literally a month into our rehearsal, our funding got cut and little shop of horrors is a show that needs funding because you've got Audrey too. Uh, you've got set pieces to move around. So when we didn't have the, the thing, um, the money for that, we ended up doing footloose and our entire um, set was just platform stairs. That was it. Um, and we made it like we made it work. It was, it was awesome. Our director was, uh still to this day one of my favorite human beings she does such a great job with all the production she does so um but uh i'm looking at this and i'm just taken back to footloose Uh standing up there doing chorus 